blue raspberry, the perfect combination of sweet and sour flavour that has been turning tongues blue for decades and has found its way into every corner of the supermarket. Candy, soda, sports drinks, ice pops, slushies, lip balm, soap, candles, vape liquids, deodorant, cocktails, bath bombs and trainers? This bluer than blue flavour is in far too many places than it has any right to be. But do blue raspberries even exist? If you google images for blue raspberries, you'll see hundreds of images like this and you might start to believe the myth that this elusive berry exists. But if you search for it in the produce aisle, they are nowhere to be seen. The dark and sobering truth is that blue raspberries do not exist. This is all photoshop. See? Normal raspberry. Blue raspberry. Green raspberry. Damn, green raspberry looks kinda good though. Anyway, whilst blue raspberries aren't real, the flavour is real and it has a very bizarre history. The story of this delicious fictional flavour begins in 1950s USA. After decades of food manufacturers putting whatever the hell they want into their snacks and drinks, the public started to worry about additives. News about several cases of sickness in children who had eaten Halloween candy blew up around the country. Someone had used way too much Acid Orange 20 or Orange Number 1 in their candy to make it as vibrantly orange as possible. And unfortunately, after taking a closer look, this chemical was found to cause abdominal cramps and diarrhea in human volunteers. Anyway, after that, the public were concerned about these kinds of additives and colorants like Orange Number 1 and especially Red Number 2, which was in everything. There was so much back and forth on whether Red Number 2 was safe or not. One moment it's safe to feed to your child, and the next it causes cancer, then it's safe again. People were scared, so the food additives amendment was passed, dictating that manufacturers had to prove their food additives were safe. Nice. Colour is really important with food and marketing. You will have heard before that you eat with your eyes, but those ultra bright coloured drinks and candies get sales. The brighter the colour, the more flavoursome it looks, and a new colour, a new flavour. Now that is exciting. So around 1960, companies like Gold Medal started putting blue dye in their snow cones to get more sales. Then in 1970, Icy, the legendary frozen beverage company, released the brightest, bluest drink to ever grace a human mouth, the Blue Raspberry Slushy, and the flavour took its place next to Red Cherry as a signature flavour of the brand. How was it so goddamn blue? Say hello to Blue Number One, a safe, thoroughly tested colorant which doesn't give your child diarrhea or cause cancer. Susan Woods, vice president of marketing for the Icy Company, says that it's Blue Icy paved the way for other Blue Raspberry flavored beverages. And they weren't wrong, Blue Raspberry was a hit and the downfall of Red Number 2 was helping. Blue was fun, fresh, safe and tasty and it wasn't red, which no one trusted anymore because red is close to orange. They could have just gone with raspberry flavour, but it would have been ding ding red. And there was already cherry, strawberry, watermelon, cinnamon, cranberry and red apple crowding the red market. Kids didn't know which red slushy to pick. The genius solution? Don't pick red at all, pick blue. Now, let's take a short break from the history to bust a myth right here. There are a lot of people out here saying that blue raspberries actually are real and that they are better known as white bark raspberries. Is this blue? Is this blue? Is this the elusive electric blue raspberry that we've been searching for? No, it's not. Case closed. Blue raspberries do not exist, people. By 1976, after years of growing consumer concerns, including a 1971 Soviet study blaming it for cancer, the FDA reversed decades of assurance that Red Number 2 was safe and banned it outright, noting significant evidence that it was causing tumours in lab rats. Meanwhile, Blue Number 1 had been permanently listed for food and ingested drug uses. After IC dominated the market with the first blue raspberry product, in the following decades the flavour exploded. Everyone wanted to line their pockets with that blue fever. Companies like Kool-Aid, Airheads and Jolly Rancher followed suit and cemented blue raspberry as a household flavour. But what in the hell does blue raspberry flavour even taste like? In my long and tiresome research I've concluded that no one really knows. Some say that the flavour is modelled after that white bark raspberry or a blackberry. Other sources claim that it's a mix of raspberry, cherry, pineapple and even banana. The truth seems to be that blue raspberry is a magical fantasy flavour that manufacturers can make taste like whatever they want 
as long as it has sugar and chemicals, it's a winner. Nadia Berenstein, a food historian from the University of Pennsylvania, who specializes in the history of synthetic flavors, calls blue the final frontier for food coloring. It was never about the raspberry, it was about blue. You don't really see any blue foods in nature, so it was a more exciting color to see in the shops and the slushy machines. Raspberry just got lucky and got matched with the ultimate food colorant, designed to appeal to Americans terrified of red dye and they're still sucking down over 2 billion ounces of blue raspberry ices every year. Well done, Icy, well done. I challenge you to come up with a combination of color and fruit that sounds more enticing and delicious than the legendary blue raspberry. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm not sure if I actually answered anything that I intended to here, but I hope you enjoyed this episode of Wiser. Click that like button if you did. Let me know what you think about blue raspberry and subscribe for more Wiser content. See you next time.